Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I want to present you an opening trap that you can play as black in the Sicilian defense if your opponent plays the Smith Mora Gambit. The trap is known as the Siberian Trap and the name appears to result from Boris Shipkov of Novosibirsk in southwestern Siberia. You can see the critical position over on the board. It's black to move and win right at the spot, but take your time before we just jump right into the tactic. I of course want to show you how to reach the position and what white should have done to avoid to get trapped. So without further ado, it's time to checkmate. <laughs> So the game that we are following is a game between Julio Manuel Espinosa and Vivian Ramon Peter and took place in 1992. The game started with the moves e4, c5 and here white attacked the center right away with the move d4. Black took the pawn and here white placed the move c3. Um, this is an indicate that white wants to go in the smith Mower gambit and white's plan is to sacrifice some pawns for open lines and quick development by his pieces. Um, in the game, Black accepted the gambit and took the pawn on c3. I just want to mention that d3 is the most common way to decline the gambit because with the pawn on c3, um, White got some problems developing the knight on um, b1. Anyway, in the game, Black took the pawn and here White recaptured. And now White has a pretty simple plan that is independent of White's next moves. And most of the time, you know. Um, white wants to play knight to f3, bishop to c4, castling, queen to e2, rook to d1, bishop to e3, and rook to c1. And the Siberian trap uses the fact that white has a somewhat fixed uh, setup, you know, and if white isn't carefully, then he can get trapped in a trap. So yeah, um, in the game, black played the move knight to c6 and white stick to the plan I just showed you earlier, knight to f3, e6, bishop c4, queen c7. I just want to mention that I personally don't like the queen to c7 move because I always find it annoying if white has the option of going knight to b5. So I just want to show you briefly another variation and this is d6, castling, knight f6, Queen e2, bishop e7, rook d1, and e5. And this is similar to the Scherwendingen uh, variation of the Sicilian game, and I think that this position is about equal. Anyway, let's go back to the game. Black decided to play the move queen to c7, and yeah, as I already told you, it's not my cup of tea, but it's nothing particular wrong with the move. And why just simply stick to the plan I just showed you earlier? He castled kingside. And here, black played the move knight to f6, and now comes queen to e2. Um, white now threatens the move e5, um, attacking our knight on f6, and at the same time fixing the d6 square. So at a certain point, probably a knight could jump into d6, for example, let's say knight to b5, and then he could come into d6. Um, this would be a pretty, pretty good outpost for white, and so black should do something about it. And the best move in this position is knight to g4. And at the first glance, this may look like an error, you know? Because if you think about it, then white could say, no, well, wait. If I play h3, then you have to go back and I can play the move I just wanted to play e5, right? But actually, this is a mistake, you know? In the game, white really played the move h3 and this loses right at the spot. Before we come to h3, I of course have to show you some other variations. And, well, let's say white plays the move bishop b3. This will lose just exactly the same combination I will show you in the h3 variation, so I won't cover this move. Another move for white would be rook to d1. But I guess after bishop to c5, um, Black's just simply better. I mean, he's up a pawn and he solved all his developing problems. I guess 
white shouldn't have enough compensation for the pawn. So this is not a way to go for white. White's best move in this position is just simply knight to b5, attacking the queen. So the queen has to move and she really has to move to b8 because if she would move to d8, well, this is just simply pretty, pretty bad because after bishop f4 with threats of knight to c7 check, d6 and rook f to d1, well, this is real pressure for black, right? So yeah, um, after queen to b8, um, white just simply plays the move h3 now, and now um, black plays the move h5. And this is similar to the fishing pole trap. I did not make a video right now about it, but I will, of course, in the future. And the reason behind h5 is that white cannot really take the pawn because after h takes g4, you just simply play h takes g4 and now the knight is attacked and if it moves away for example let's say knight to d2 well then it's suddenly made on h2 and yeah this is why um, this is so good um, and this position is already pretty tougher right i mean let's say he plays knight to h4 okay then we just simply take it and after g3 stopping any mating ideas and rook to h8 i think that black's actually better i mean he got the open h file he's already up two pawns and yeah um, moves like a6 b5 bishop b7 knight d5 knight f3 will follow so in this position i think black's already much better so what else could white play well let's say he plays g3 well then we just simply grab the knight on f3 and after queen takes f3 um, 95 attacking the queen and the bishop at the same time. Queen to b3, a6, knight to c3, b5, bishop b2, protecting white from any knight to f3 checks. Um, b4, knight a4, and bishop b7. I think again the black's already better. I mean, we got the open mage file. Our bishop is pretty well lined up. Our queen is lined up. Yeah, I mean. We have plans of playing g4, g5, uh, g5 g4, bringing the knight to f3. Uh, potentially, we could also play moves like d6, f5, and bring the queen to c7 just to swing over to h7, you know, and mate on the h1 square. So, I mean, we're up a pawn and we got a pretty, pretty nice attack going, so black must be better in this position, right? Anyway, in this position, White isn't forced to take the knight on g4, so he could just simply play the move g3. And after, let's say, knight g2 e5, knight takes e5, knight takes e5, bishop f4, and a6. Well, I guess that this position is roughly equal. I mean, white is the one who's attacking, but black is a pawn, and if he can manage to hold on the position and make it into the end game, well, then he's probably better and will win the game. So I guess um, this is a position of chance for both sides. Anyway, let's go back to the game. In the game, white play the move h3. And now I would advise you to pause the video and try to figure out why this move is so bad. I want you to find a move for black that wins the game right immediately. I give you three seconds to pause the video if you need to. One, two, three. Well, I hope you all found the solution. If not, I'll give you a little hint. If black would manage to get rid of this knight, then he could easily mate black, uh, white's king in one move. So with this hint in mind, I give you another three seconds to pause the video if you need to. One, two, three. Well, I hope you all found the solution. The right move is knight to d4, exclam, exclam, exclam. Funny enough, this position appeared in over 900 games on leeches, online games. So it's quite famous, right? But it's already clearly won for black and white doesn't have any good moves. I mean, if you would grab the knight on d4, well, then he just simply made white's king on h2, right? If he would just simply grab the knight on g4, well, we're winning a queen. And I mean, okay, white got two pawns, uh, white got two pieces for queen, but let's be honest, this position must be winning for black, right? So what else could white try? Well, let's say he just simply plays a move like queen to d1, 
getting out of the attack of the knight then we just simply grab the knight on f3 with check and it doesn't matter how wide we captured we just simply made on h2 again so yeah this was the siberian trap i hope you liked today's video i hope you learned something and if you did please let me know in the comments and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so see you next time when it's again time to checkmate